Hey, hey, party people! Thank you all very much for joining me on another episode of Fifi Plays, and I cannot contain my excitement right now! This game that we're going to be playing today is called The Count Lucanor, and it is by the same people who made Yuppie Psycho, and it's like the exact same style and all that jazz. So I, <laughs> I'm like shaking with excitement right now because that game, Yuppie Psycho, was the wackiest, the zaniest, like it was equal parts terrifying as it was hilarious. And it was one of the most unique games I've ever played. And this one, um, there was no description on the Steam page, it just said that it has links, or um, it draws inspiration from Silent Hill. So I hope that it will be a little bit of a darker story. Like I know Yuppie Psycho is pretty dang dark, but, I mean, it was masquerading as an ordinary office, so it kind of, I don't know, it kind of seemed normal on the surface, so I'm hoping that this one is just weird through and through. So, without further ado, let's just get into it, shall we? Once upon a time, there lived a really poor boy called Hans. Hans was downhearted. He wanted to be an adult. faraway places, find treasure, and visit, visit lavish castles. <laughs> this reminds me of the Promised Neverland a little bit. However, as his father had left to fight the war, Hans had to stay home and something something something. Stay with his mother, presumably. But today, Hans was really happy. It was his 10th birthday. Aw, just a little, a little one. A little, little cutie pie. Mom, I'm back. Do you know what day it is today? Of course I know. You're 10 years old today. Happy birthday. Yeah! Have you brought me any presents? Maybe a toy? Hands, my dear, you know we have almost no money since your dad went to war. But mom, it's my birthday! Do we have any sweets to eat? I'm sorry, there's nothing special. Come on, help me set the table. At least set the table by yourself on your son's birthday, like come on. There's only two of you, seriously? Well, enough's enough. All kids in the village have presents and sweets for their birthday. They even throw parties. Hands. I'm sick of this house. I'm sick of not having toys. I'm sick of being poor as a church mouse. I understand now why dad isn't coming back. Dots. Where are you going? I'm leaving. I just turned 10. I'm a grown man. <laughs> Hands, please going in search of fortune and I'm not ever coming back. I'll be an explorer, or even better, I'll be prince in a castle. Goodbye. Dots. <laughs> Aw, let's take our trusty pooch with us. Hands, wait. Are you really leaving? You're still too young. You may think you're a grown-up, but you're only ten. Besides, life is really hard outside and the woods can be really dangerous for you. I don't care. I'm really strong, and I've been alone in the woods many times. If you're really leaving, at least let me do what I can to help you. I've got some things for you. I don't need your help. This cane belonged to my father, your grandpa, and has great sentimental value to me. I'm sure it'll help you in your journey. I got a cane, all right. I could use it as a walking stick if I'm going deep in the mountains. This is all the money we have left. Take it and spend it wisely. All right, free whole gold coins. Finally, this is all we had to eat. Eat your food slowly. It will last longer. All right, cheese. 
A whole wheel? Wow, I feel so spoiled. And this is it. I can't give you anything else. Hans, please don't go off the road. Be a good boy and remember, I'll be here if you want to come back. Dots. To interact with things, I have to be next to them. Yes, okay. Well, let's pet our dog. Hi. <laughs> the dog's name is Spittle, everybody. Spittle, I can't play with you anymore. I go on adventures just like Dad did. I might not be coming back for a long time. Hey, but where's your bone? It has to be around here. I already saw it. I can't run yet, so that kind of sucks. That's Spittle's bone. Yes, it is. Very good observation, Hans. It seems he wants his bone. Oh, yes. Right, of course. Got it. Thank you. Ooh, pretty. Here you go. There you go, Spittle. That's your bone. You've given Spittle the bone. I have to go now. Take care of Mom and don't go away. Uh, don't you think you should come with you? No? Okay. Yay, a swing! Wow, my elbows really droop on this thing. But what am I doing? Now that I'm old, I can't play with the swing anymore. Well, you just did, so what now, Hans? You want to get changed? No? Okay. Hmm. See, this is the one thing that was missing from Yuppie Psycho. Uh, well, it wasn't missing. Um, it would have been out of place in the in the um, circumstances, but I love outside. Look at all these flowers and trees and the grass and everything's so bright and beautiful. I'm happy I don't have to fetch water from this darn well anymore. Hmm. Is this... Ooh! Mysterious tree. I think I'm taking what I've hidden in the tree hollow. Ooh, chestnuts. Sweet. Oh, I wish you could walk a little bit faster, but I guess I'll just have to be patient with you. What's this red thing? Nothing? Okay, cool. Well, oh, can't go that way. <laughs> We're off to a really good start here. I guess we'll go up. Up the path and away from home. The Count Lucanor. Aw, oh, gophers! Oh, bunnies, I mean. Oh man, they don't want to play with me. That is really too bad. What does this sign say? Hangman's Woods. Neat. Guess I'll just keep going up. Oh, a little old lady. Hello, uh, whoever you are. Uh, hello, young one. What are you doing here alone? The woods can be really dangerous for a kid. I'm a grown man, lady. I'm ten. <laughs> oh well, I see you're a man indeed. Perhaps you can help me then. What's wrong? I was on my way to the market in the village to sell this pig and make some money, but my cane was stuck in some rocks and it broke. I need that support to walk, so I don't know what I will do when this night falls. Won't you have, by chance, something to help me keep going? I could hand her the cane Mom gave me, but she told me it was Grandpa's. To give her the cane, I should take it from my backpack and show it to her. Nah, that's a family heirloom. Sorry, lady. Just gonna have to figure out a way to do something else. Hey, oh man. I am not the animal whisperer, unfortunately. Well, maybe this crow will be my friend. Hey, crow. I don't like ravens at all. Mom said they bring bad luck. Well, that's all about perspective. I think ravens are lovely. <laughs> Walking through the woods. Nothing happened yet. Can I climb this fence? Nope. Guess I'll have to find a way around it. Aww! A starving donkey! Hello, friend. Hey, Mr. Donkey, where'd you come from? You look hungry. Do I have any... Do you want a chestnut? I don't think he'll have this. He might like fruit better. Okay. Well, there was, um... There was, uh, apples over here. Aha! A break in the fence! Just what I needed! Gonna steal all the apples because that is not a crime. <laughs> Those apples look delicious! If I keep them, I could regain strength later. Very true, Hans. Very true. And you can feed the starving donkey! Maybe you could get a friend for life. Who knows? 
Maybe we can get you some running shoes one of these days. Here you go, little donkey. I got just the thing for you. Here you go, Mr. Donkey. Eat this apple I've got here. Ah! He's happy. Oh, I gave them I gave him both apples. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> I'm sure I'll find more food along the way. And if Yuppie Psycho has taught me anything, it's to be careful. Anything could explode under your feet at any moment. <gasps> oh boy. Hey, friend, what's up? Oh, what will become of me? I don't know, what happened? Hey, are you alright? Help, please, help! I've lost everything! All the wares I carried for my lord. Even my donkey has gone away. What will become of me? I've seen the donkey down the road. He'll just... He'll be just scared. My master will punish me anyway. He'll lash me 100 times for not bringing the wares. Perhaps you could strap them to the donkey and resume your journey. You're not hurt, are you? You're a smart kid, but that won't help. Unless I bring my master some money to make up for the wagon, he'll punish me hard. You're just a kid. I guess you won't spare some coins, will you? I could give him my money, but Mom told me not to waste it. I feel like... We're going to end up doing the opposite. <gasps> oh, no! A poor little goat! Are you okay? There you go. I'm gonna follow this donkey. And by donkey, I mean goat. Wait for me, friend! Wait! I gotta check this mysterious thing on the tree. All those above 15 shall report to their nearest, sorry, nearest gendarmery at once. Hey, little goats. I brought you your goat back, aren't you pleased? Hey, kiddo, what you doing in the top of the mountain? I'm going in search of fortune. Blimey, that's a big idea. Tell me if you find anything interesting. <laughs> Are you taking care of these goats? Me goats take care of themselves, spend the days smoking and playing the flute. But hey, ain't your parents worried about ya? I don't think so. Besides, my dad went to war. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Why? Well, let's just say they force you to go to war. Don't know anybody who chose to go, so it ain't a great place. Oh. And your mom? Ain't she looking for ya? I don't care, I'm angry with her. But at least she gave me some food for the journey. Ouch. Are you alright? You mentioned food and my belly ached. Been all day with my goats and forgot to bring something to eat. Took tobacco and wine, but forgot the most important thing. <laughs> what will you give me in return? If I give you my food. Um, maybe I should be giving these people the gifts. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Guess I'll keep exploring this place. The tomb looks worn. It reads Joseph Frey. Huh, that's really odd. That name. <clears throat> oh! Hey, I defended you, you jerk. You good, Hans? Wow, they really like Birds of Prey having red eyes in this series, don't they? Whoa, he looks like Haku there. Wow! It's really big. I wonder what this dream could be. <sighs> well, I got eaten, so that's always good. Oh no, and now it's dark! Save soul. Uh, excuse me? Oh, my head. I might have fallen asleep. It's pitch dark and I'm freezing. I should head home. I just need to follow the way back, but it's so dark. I better take this candle with me. Sure. You definitely will not run into- Oh my god. Ew. What's wrong with the ducks? Do they want my blood? That's creepy. Maybe I should have helped people. <laughs> oh well, it's too late now. 
What's happening here? Hey, you wanna play? You wanna be friends? Oh my god! Ugh! <laughs> Alright! This is what I was waiting for! Ah! Oh god! Hey buddy, you alright? You look pale. You can never trust a goat, can ya? Wow, this... Wow, this has to be a nightmare. This is scary as hell. I want to go home now. Okay. Oh, even the baby! <laughs> uh, I want to send a thank you letter to these developers because they are freaking amazing. Even the baby goat is scary now. Well, that's beyond my way, friends. Do 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 do. <gasps> hey! Huh? Wait up! You wanna be friends? Doodle do 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 Nothing is going on here. Uh oh, the goats are chasing me. Ah! Okay, okay! Okay, I'm going. You don't have to shout. <laughs> You'll never make it past those crates. I am thin and small, and you are huge and creepy. Ooh. That thing is reminding me of something, but I can't place what it reminds me of. Maybe like a super old folklore or something? I don't know. <gasps> hey, friend! Even if it's completely still, I can still, still see it breathing. You wanna come? Oh no, what happened to the donkey? Not my donkey, friend! Oh man! I can't find him! I hope he's okay! That would be really crappy. Where are you taking me? Can you just tell me who you are? And then we can- Ooh! Ooh! Fancy! Thanks for taking me here! It's like a mansion! <gasps> Ooh! Good evening, most gracious sire! Welcome! Uh, uh, hello? Where am I? You've entered the walls of Tenebra Castle, the fortress of the most illustrious Count Luc Lucanor. I didn't know there was a count living around here. My master has always excelled at discretion. Perhaps you have come to claim my master's legacy. Legacy? My master, Count Lucanor, is a man of great wealth. His domain and influence span hundreds of leagues. However, he is afflicted by a sorrow. His days of youth are far behind, and in all these years he has not had a son to take his place. Thus, he has re requested me to look for young noblemen who deserve to inherit such a fortune. You mean this Count Lucanor has a lot of money and he's looking for someone to have it? Precisely. So, my first thought was you had arrived with that purpose in mind. Of course! I'm a nobleman from a faraway kingdom! I have come to claim the Count's wealth. Take me to him at once, please. I admire your enthusiasm, sire. But before I take you to my master, I need to make sure you stand for the appropriate values for all for the role. We would not want vile no- Oh man. I think I messed up by not helping anybody. We would not want vile noblemen, thieves, or ragged children in the throne, would we, sire? <laughs> he knows we messed up already. Therefore, you will have to tackle a simple trial. You will need to guess my name. What do you say? Uh, you will have the night to guess my name. If you are right, I will personally take you to the master, the most illustrious Count Lucanor. I wish you luck in the trial, sire. Now, if you will allow me, I have to leave. What a blessing! If I guess his name, I'll be rich! Alright, and I think I'm gonna end this episode here. But I kinda wanna take a look around. Just, just for a quick second. We got knights in shining armor. We got doors. Locked doors. Can I crawl? Alright! Still crawl under tables to hide. A 
I'll probably need a screwdriver at some point. I definitely will need a better flashlight. All right, okay, I'm not, enough exploring. I think I'm gonna end this episode here, but um, I might restart the game <laughs> and just make sure that I give all of my items to the people because we want to be the best boy we can and we want to prove that we are generous and kind and giving and all of those good traits and none of the ignoring, starving people. <laughs> so I think I'll just replay through that and then get to the same point that I am here. But hopefully um, I will get the good ending if I if I'm just go out of my way to be good this whole time. So, oh boy, I'm really excited because I, I have no idea what awaits us in this in this game, uh, unlike Yuppie Psycho, like, <laughs> um, there was, like, n no indication of what the game is about, uh, so I'm looking forward to uncovering every single secret that it holds, so thank you all very much for watching this episode, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Mwah!